do any of you ever walk into a Walmart or something and see an item that makes you cringe? Maybe it's a t-shirt that is trying to be funny but isn't. Maybe it's a live, laugh, love poster. Maybe it's a human muzzle. I don't know. But I know you know what I'm talking about. When you walk into the store, you see an item that just makes you, ugh, you know? Think of all the cringe shit you've come across at stores, alright? Now, imagine the kind of cringe shit you can find online. Specifically, Amazon.com. God's gift to lazy people. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at some cringe Amazon items I was able to find. The first product I want to show you all tonight is super confusing because I have no idea who the target demographic is. It's merch for a property that is actually really close to my heart. Um, it's merch for one of my favorite movie franchises. And what they plaster on the merch doesn't really make any sense for this property. What I'm referring to is a patriotic ghost face mask from the Scream movies. As you can see, it's exactly like the mask from the original movie, but with a catch. It's American. Yeah, for real, I don't get who this is for. It's not like Scream fans are known to be huge America fans. Not that they're anti-America or anything, but it just seems like a random thing to put on a ghost face mask. Who the fuck is gonna go to the 4th of July barbecue with a ghost face mask on? Or who the fuck's gonna go to a Halloween party with an American flag over their face with ghost face under it? People are gonna be like, oh, what are you supposed to be? And what are you gonna say, a racist? I'm gonna be real though, this should have been the outfit for the Capitol riots. I'm not gonna lie, this would have been kind of fire. Maybe even I would have been a Trump supporter just so I could wear this, so I could go fuck shit up in a ghost face mask, you know? That'd be kind of dope. Well, they could have just ordered a couple of these instead of those raccoon hats they had. I think it would have been a lot more efficient, a lot scarier, maybe a little more goofy looking, but I mean, I don't know how, <laughs> I don't know how they could have looked any goofier, to be honest. Wow, old dead political meme. Thanks, Jar Boy. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't think there's ever been a YouTube video about cringe products that didn't have a gaming t-shirt in it. It's a staple. It's like a Quentin Tarantino film needing feet. It just has to be in there. The one I found is pretty simple. Um, it just says, can't hear you, I'm gaming with a pair of headphones. Yeah, it's just your classic dumbass cringe. The reason I chose this shirt though is because for some reason, it has a plethora of colors. I just don't understand how many people would want or need this shirt in so many different varieties. Why are you overwhelming lonely ass Cheeto finger dusted gamers with this much choice? Gamers will go onto Amazon, see this, and think it's a choose your own adventure game. By the way, I'm not even being sarcastic about this though. I will say the color choices are pretty good. Like if the text wasn't stupid and did it make me a little more suicidal? I would like the colors of these shirts, especially that yellow. That's my favorite color of yellow. Yellow is my favorite color. That's a good yellow. Now, before we exit out of clothing, I do have one more shirt. And this is the worst shirt I've ever seen in my life. This shirt isn't even cringe. It's just Caesar inducing. Caesar? Seizure. It will not get you any Little Caesars pizza, unfortunately. I'm not even going to try to explain this one first. Just, just look at it. Yeah, you see that? So you try reading it, you bend your head to the right, you look really weird, and then they flip the sentence under that, and then the other one's normal again, and then the other one's upside down again, and it's just really confusing for no reason, and it makes it not funny. When I read it, I wasn't like, oh, ha ha ha, no. It's a stupid joke that nobody's even gonna commit to. People in public are gonna read the first two lines, see something's fucky with the third one, and be like, I'm not deciphering that, and to move on. I don't know, again, who this shirt is for, this is for people who just want to ruin other people's day, make them confused and angry for no reason. I'm getting a little heated just talking about this shirt. It really makes me mad. All you had to do is just make all the text flipped on its right. Because people are going to have their head looking sideways. So there you go. It's easy to read when you do that and it looks a little silly. Your head's tilted. Oh, ha ha. A way more efficient way to tell the joke than confusing the shit out of people with this random ass flippage, bro. All right, let me guess the decor of your room. One to three posters, pictures you've drawn, and LED lights. 100%. I guarantee that's what your room probably looks like. But if you want to make it look super pretentious, look no further than Amazon because these little decorations are that pretty pretentious. Yeah, um, so they're just shapes inside of shapes. 
And I don't really get why that's art. You just put shapes inside of shapes. It's not really... It doesn't look cool. It looks just like... It looks like dog shit, man. If I saw this in my friend's house, I wouldn't call them my friend anymore. I'd think they're an asshole. The kind of people who would have this on their walls would have a ghost face mask with the American flag painted on it. That's the only demographic I could see getting this shit. If I'm being honest, though, this decor really is for people who want to be rich, who want to put a lens to the people that come into their house that they are wealthy, but aren't. So this is just really sad. People are only getting this so they look fancy to feed their ego. That's what I'm getting from this product, and it's super cringy and bad. Before we go forward, I have to apologize. This video has weirdly been accidentally political. I swear, I did not intend any political shit to happen in this video to be political. I just wanted to go over some Amazon cringe products. So from this point on, nothing political is going to come out of my mouth, okay? We're going to have a safe zone for all parties of the world. So yeah, here's a pencil holder of Joe Biden with the pencil up his asshole while he wears a mask and sunglasses. Very hot. This is for all you MAGA supporters out there. Funny gift for Biden liberals. Ooh wee. Hey boomers, get this for your abortion supporting niece. <laughs> That'll show her. I'm gonna be real. Biden backshots were not on my Amazon bingo card. You can tell they put a lot of work into this item though because there's a lot of different variations for this product. You can get it in a lot of crazy different ways. Like they went all out. You can get one with a white mask or a black mask. So really... You know, really tough decision, which one's worth your, which one's worth the bang of the buck, you know, but, uh, I don't know, just get the white one, I guess, that's the only ones they really care about. Alright, next in this dumbass Amazon cart, we have a spin prize wheel. We have the Wheel of Fortune over here, and it's just a classic spinny wheel, you know, you spin it, you win it, pretty self-explanatory. So you're probably wondering, Jarboy, why is this in a cringe video? This isn't really something that makes me shake with cringe. Well, the issue is the price point. Why the fuck is a spinning wheel $400? More specifically, $378. That price is more than everything on the wheel combined. You should just give away this as the prize at that point. But look, there is a bright side. If you don't have $400 to get this wheel, there are alternatives. You can pay $26 a month for a year and a half for a wheel that you will use once and then throw in your basement, attic, or just straight up in the trash. The only rational reason I could come up with for why this thing could be $400 is its height. This thing is 31 inches, but I was able to find other spinning wheels that are 12 inches to 24 inches. Which makes me think, just get the one that's 24 inches. You know why? Because they're only like 90 bucks. Look, I know to some people 7 inches is a lot. But to me, size does not matter, especially if it's $300 more for that 7 inches. I feel like you do not need to spend the majority of your little prize giveaway on the wheel that determines the prize giveaway. Just get a simple one and put that money towards the prize. It would be really stupid to pay this much for a fucking wheel. Just toss a coin, dude. Just play rock, paper, scissors at that point. Wow, I've only made three commentary videos so far, and I'm already mentally depleted. Fortunately for me, we're at the final item of the night. Sorry you will not be winning any of these from the spinning wheel, I did not pay for it. Remember when I said that I originally wanted this video to be a Walmart cringe video that I came up with in high school? Well, when I came up with that video, I actually went to Walmart, took photos to make the video, but just never made it. The photos are now long gone. But there is one that I remember very vividly. It was a game. A children's game. The concept was, it was two words that rhymed, that had nothing to do with each other, and they just lazily Frankensteined that into a game. With an even lazier concept and challenge, I guess. If you could even call it a challenge. It was called Yeti and My Spaghetti. And yesterday, Scrolling through Amazon, looking for cringe stuff, it crossed my path again. Like, it was meant to be for me to talk about this shitty game. So yeah, look at this, uh, Game of the Year winner. Are you fucking kidding me? Game of the Year, they gave it to this shit? So check this out. Yeti and my spaghetti. Hey, get out of my bowl. This doesn't look like a Yeti. 
This looks like Spongebob if he was naked and albino. This is the objective of the game, okay? This is what got them the Game of the Year award. Don't let Yeti fall. In this wacky game, Yeti is just chilling on the noodles. But as you remove them one by one, be careful. Yeti could fall into the bowl, and that is not cool. You want Yeti to stay steady on the spaghetti. Oh, At least you're in your oh, terror. Oh, don't want any. <laughs> and then it's like... So yeah, this is just a lazy, boring, thrown-together game that honestly I couldn't imagine a child playing more than twice. Max. I would get so bored with this shit. You can just tell it's a passionate list game that was made because of its rhyme scheme. Like, I guarantee you they came up with the title, and then were like, fuck it, throw a game together, and they made it in 20 minutes. And of course that rhyme scheme is gonna sell to parents because they think it's cute, and then the kids think the little yeti is too cute, they want the little yeti toy. So whatever, the parents waste their money, the game is played once or twice, everybody's happy. Especially the corporation. So I guess the moral of today's story is, just sell really bad merchandise. Because if you slap a bad product on Amazon, some idiot is sure to come across it. Speaking of slapping something on Amazon and somebody coming across it, I hope you come across my book this summer. That's right, I wrote a book. I know you didn't think I was smart enough to, cause I'm not. This book is called High and Mighty. Here's the description. It's really short, at only 104 pages. It's super funny. It's a story about learning how to move on from your ego and from your past. And uh, it's a really simple, fun adult summer read. So if that interests you, please pick one up. There's a Kindle version and there's a paperback version. There's no audiobook. Maybe I'll make it one day. I probably won't. Sorry for the self-promo. I'm not big enough as a YouTuber to get any sponsors or anything, so you know I gotta grind where I can. I don't even count that as a self-promo. So think about it. Self-promoing, as we all know, is cringe as shit. Which makes this a cringe item. Uh, loophole. You guys can't say shit in the comments. Alright, well thank you all so much for watching. I had a lot of fun, and let's never do it again. Try to go to rehab just to see if they could make me better Got kicked out for sneaking booze Fuck you too, then I would rather get drunk all day Try new drugs, hit on hoes, get paws throwing Sold soul for the coin, got the hoe crying No lie, I put that on jar, boy